side we're back with your final episode of StarCast for the 2016-2017 school year. As always the end of the year is packed with activities so we won't want to waste any time and we'll jump right in. Although there's a lot of excitement the end of the year brings there's also a lot of responsibilities that need to be taken care of for students hoping to make sure they make adequate progress not only towards graduation but also towards successfully applying and transitioning to college. Maddie spoke with North High Counseling Department and gives us their expert advice. As the year is coming to a close, many changes will arise. The North High counselors are always available and willing to help students with advice and guidance as they further their education. For each grade level, there are specific steps you should be taking to prepare for the future. You should implement these freshman year and continue in order to ensure success. Mrs. Netley advises freshmen here at North High. Some tips I would have for a freshman is basically making sure that they're taking advantage of everything we have here. Sometimes they think, I'll just wait till my senior year, but they need to really start looking at classes and taking advantage of what we have now. As freshmen moving on to sophomore year, you should think about what future career you would like to pursue. Mrs. Baker, another one of North High's counselors, provides information to many sophomores as they are choosing a career. Sophomores should look at what career pathway they're interested in. Um, they'll do their required courses, but when it comes to picking their electives, they should decide if they want to go health science or um, foods or automotive or any of the fashion classes. Um, we now have implemented upon graduation, they can earn a cord if they do all the classes in the pathway. Juniors, you have college decisions to make. Ms. Hammerlink knows the ins and outs of this process and is always willing to provide guidance. Um, juniors should start looking on Naviance or listening to announcements because we have college reps coming and juniors this year we let them start coming to college visits here at North High and visiting with reps. So my advice would be get your tail in the counselor's office and sit down and meet with four or five colleges this year as a junior and ask them questions about their programming, financial aid, things like that. College prep is a big part of senior year, and there are many steps to it. North High students have a lot to think about before selecting and attending a college. Um, I think the first thing they could do is begin their junior year by researching college, but as they're, if they're seniors, they should have already chosen their college that they're ready to go to. Um, make sure you have all your financial work done, um, and I would do a budget. That's my be best piece of advice. Um, and then just start asking questions, and there's no such thing as a dumb question, so ask questions to the college admissions, to your guidance counselor, um, to students that have gone there, um, and ask them about student life and things like that. The counseling department is always here to ensure that your plans become a reality so you can have a, the chance at a successful career. Reporting for StarCast, this is Maddie Walding. Thanks for finding that great advice, Maddie. A group of North Stars had the opportunity recently to compete at the Drake Relays, one of the oldest, largest, and most prestigious track meets in the country. Noah has a story for us. North High track athletes have been putting forth a lot of effort on the oval recently. Since the first meet of the season to the East Envite on April 20th, the Stars had the opportunity to qualify for the Drake Relays in Des Moines, Iowa. The Drake Relays is a high school, collegiate, and professional track meet containing elite athletes from all around the world. The relays began on April 26th and ended on the 29th. The Stars had people running on Friday and Saturday with the girls running the 4x100, Sprint Medley, and Mercy Oyadare running the 100m dash. Um, we ran really well at Drake and it's just about the experience so I enjoyed it a lot. It was really cool to see the uh, Rio rematch with the Olympians in there because they're really talented and they're just amazing. The guys had the shuttle hurdle relay, Noah Weeder in the 110 hurdles, and the 4x100 which was led off by Tyler Wagner. Uh, before Drake we were really trying to cut down our time just to make sure we, we got in. Uh, we were 33rd going in, and then after we ran, we became 21st. 
Although the weather wasn't ideal, these athletes still gave it their all and had fun doing it, giving them a good experience and one they will remember for years to come. This has been Noah Weeder reporting for StarCast. Nice job at the relays, and way to represent North High. The track team recently capped their season off at the state meet in Des Moines this past weekend. The team qualified several athletes and events. Mercy Derry took home 8th place in the 400 meter dash. Congratulations guys! Another North Star to find some success is junior Quinn Adahar. Quinn, who participates in several North activities, has had several notable achievements and a certain hidden talent too. Caleb has a story. Quinn Adahar seems like an everyday student in the halls of North High, but he is actually involved in many activities as well as having important responsibilities in our school programs. Um, here at North High, I'm involved in several things. Um, I'm involved a lot with the marching band. I'm the drum major. I'm the person on the stands who like waves his arms around, tells the band what to do. Um, I'm also part of the North High Jazz One, and I am the saxophone section leader. And I'm also very involved with the North High Robotics team. As the saxophone section leader, Quinn puts in a lot of work and practice to make sure he can perform his best. Um, I first got involved playing the saxophone in fifth grade, uh, mostly because I wanted to. Um, and then I stayed because uh, the people in band and like the people that you get to meet and the opportunities that you get to get are just pretty cool. Quinn is also a drum major and has many responsibilities including setting up the field early, memorizing the music, and leading our marching band. Because Quinn is so serious, I think that he is really focused and he doesn't mess around that much like a lot of other people do, so he's really good at being a leader. In that sense. As well as being a leader as a drum major, he plays a large role for the robotics team and helps the team participate in many competitions worldwide. And for robotics, um, a lot of what I do is uh, the design part of a lot of our systems um, on the robot. And so like, I'll help make sure that all of our designs are working. The robotics team recently got back from competing at the World Championship in St. Louis and continues to impress judges and bring back trophies for North High. Two not so known hobbies Quinn has is his liking for 3D printing and insane yo-yo skills. Quinn taught himself how to yo-yo and has collected a wide variety of yo-yos over time. Quinn can make the yo-yos flip, spin, fly, and many other tricks that are much easier said than done. Um, I would definitely recommend getting involved in some of the activities at North High. Um, as I can like definitely tell you from being involved in quite a few is like, the people you meet and the opportunities that you get are pretty cool, so get out there and do things. This has been Caleb Fergan reporting for StarCast. We've had a lot of fun this past year bringing you all your Northside news. In our final story of the year, Mercy takes you behind the scenes to get a closer look at exactly how we get the job done. For several months now, you've had the opportunity to view StarCast. Many of you may have wondered to yourselves, how exactly are these guys creating these top-notch broadcasts? Today, we're giving you an inside look behind the scenes of what goes into making these. The magic starts here in Mr. O's classroom. At the beginning of a news cycle, we divvy out stories. Sometimes, Mr. O delegates the stories, and other times, students come up with their own stories. Group leaders then pick the classmates they want in their groups in an all-class draft. My favorite part is, well, a lot of it's the people, and like working with the people to make a video, but also, um, actually the process of making the video. Once the groups are established, it's off to the races. Groups plan their stories, interviews, and shots they think they will need to bring the story to life. And then they go out and make them happen. I like to see the projects come together. I like to see how um, at the beginning of the year you have people filming and it just looks like garbage, but then by the end of the year um, they're able to put something together um, and it's done reasonably well. After all the interviews and B-roll have been shot, teams start to edit the stories together for the final product. Keenan, our head anchor, looks at the stories while they're being completed and begins to write a script for the final broadcast. After complaining for a ridiculous amount of time that he has to write the script, he then writes it. It's usually garbage, so then Mr. O has to rewrite it anyway. Keenan, have you or have you not written the script yet? So far, uh, we're working on it. Because it's been at least 20 minutes. And here you are doing nothing. Simultaneously, Jackson Baker sits around and does nothing for several periods. He's supposed to write his own script too, 
but to this day he has never produced one anywhere near production quality. So at this point we've really lowered expectations for him. Once the scripts are done, we then head to production. Kidden and Beller is supposed to head the production team setting up the production room and making sure everything runs smoothly, but he actually does the opposite, and what should be a five minute task, recording the final broadcast, usually ends up taking somewhere in the ballpark of 45 minutes. <laughs> the fact that Keenan becomes illiterate whenever he sees a teleprompter doesn't help either. Jackson then struggles to the one job in the class he actually has to do. We'll have all of the, de the details we'll to did. <clears throat> this is it, I promise. Okay, half of the takes were because of you guys. I farted. Finally, Camden edits the final broadcast together. In true Camden Beller fashion, the job, which should take about 30 minutes, takes about two weeks of Mr. O constantly yelling at him to do something. Mr. O checks over the final broadcast and then it's uploaded to YouTube. Well, there you have it. Now you know what goes into bringing you the Northside news. Reporting for Starcast, this has been Mercy Oyedari. It really is a wonder if we get anything done around here. Graduation is 11 a.m. this Saturday at the Tyson Event Center. Students and parents are encouraged to arrive and take pictures before graduation. Monday is Memorial Day, which means no school and a long three-day weekend. Semester tests are Friday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Well, that's all we have for this year in StarCast. It's been an honor to bring you the news, and until next year, catch you later, Northside. <laughs>